Hello, I'm going to read you the book Fancy Nancy, My Family History by Jane O'Connor. Pictures based on the art of Robin Price Glasser. Do you know about your ancestors? They are people in your family who lived long ago. You say it like this, ancestors. Isn't that a great fancy word? We are writing ancestor reports in class. Bree is writing about her great-grandfather. He is 90. He was a war hero. Robert's great-grandmother is 100. She came to America on a ship. It almost sank. You are both lucky, I tell my friends. You know your ancestors. All of mine are deceased. That's fancy for dead. That night, my grandpa calls. He is coming to visit soon. His parents are my great-grandparents. So, yeah, so I ask, were they famous? Did they have adventures? Grandpa says no. They were nice, ordinary people. Ordinary? That's like plain. I wish I had fancy ancestors. Later that night, Grandpa sends a photo of my great-grandfather. Grandpa's email says, my dad was kind and honest. He only lost his temper once. I broke a teapot and blamed my sister. My dad wasn't upset about the teapot. He was upset that I lied. Your dad sounds like a very lovely person, I reply. Reply is fancy for answer. I am going to write my report about him. I gather facts from Grandpa. My ancestor had five children. He was a bank guard. He liked to fish. He lived to be 74. The next day, I illustrate the cover. Illustrate is fancy for making a picture. Then I start writing my report. It begins, my great grandpa was a bank guard. Hmm, that does not sound exciting. So I add something extra. Once he stopped a bunch of bank robbers. Yes. That sounds very exciting. Next I write, my great grandpa loved to fish. Then I add some more exciting stuff. One time he caught a shark. The next day, Clara and Yoko both read the reports. I do not mean to brag, but mine is way more interesting. After school, I tell my parents, on Friday, I get to read my report. My dad says, great, grandpa is coming in on Thursday. He can go to school with you. He's so proud that your report is about his dad. I forgot about Grandpa coming. 
All of a sudden, my tummy feels funny. I don't think he is allowed to come, I say. My mom looks at me. Of course he can come. Don't you want him to come? Upstairs, I show mom my report. I wanted it to be interesting, so I exaggerated. Exaggerate is a fancy word for stretching the truth. Honey, mom says, you didn't just exaggerate, you made up stuff. That's lying. I remember the story about the broken teapot. My ancestor would be very upset with me. My grandpa will be too. By the time grandpa comes, I have report, written a new report. This time I stick to the plain truth. I write about the teapot. It is an ordinary story, but I really like it. On Friday, Grandpa comes to school. He has brought his dad's top hat. It's a real one, not like the one in my magic set. My great-grandpa loved to get dressed up, I tell everyone. I must get being fancy from him. Fancy Nancy's Words These are the fancy words in this book. Ancestors, people in your family who lived long ago. You say it like this, ancestors. Deceased dead, exaggerate, stretch the truth, illustrate, make a picture, ordinary, plain, reply, answer.